Resam konnichiwa, Samurai Indian Days. In this uh, video, let us continue on chapter 6, which uh, discusses general requirements of the code. We are now on the uh, sub-module number 4. Again, I am uh, Dr. AP. I am a civil engineer, electrical engineer, industrial engineer, mechanical engineer, and a uh, graduate of Polytechnic University Japan as a Japan government scholar. So let us continue a discussion on this uh, module, starting with the code objective, which means that the code addresses specific requirements to minimize danger to life from fire. And it's derivative. What are the derivatives of fire? We have heat, smoke, and toxic gases. Okay. And uh, in doing so, we are uh, also providing mission continuity and property protection in both new construction and existing buildings. So in this uh, part two, we have uh, three major Topics, code is PA, occupancy classification, and hazard of contents. Or in right now, we are discussing uh, code is PA. And under this um, major topic, we have scope or post application, which is the words with acronym is PA. Also, we will discuss equivalency and general code provision. So I think we are now on number four, equivalency. So this is the module that will uh, explain what do you mean by equivalency and how it matters in a practical use. Okay, equivalency. Nothing in the code is intended to prevent the use of systems, methods, or devices, or equivalent or superior quality, strength, fire resistance, effectiveness, durability, and safety over those prescribed by the code. Okay? The code only states the minimum requirement, but it does not hinder any one of us, engineers, owners, AHJ, to prevent the use of other systems, not specifically required in the code. What is that? Those systems, methods, devices, or equipment with what? Equivalent or superior quality. That is the key word here. That is the idea while we are uh, talking about equivalency. We can use other things that in our design, we can say that this one is equivalent to your design. They are using different system. They are using different methods. They are using different devices, equipments. They are using different structure, but if we can say that our design is equivalent to what is um, required as a minimum by the code in this particular uh, application, application meaning existing or uh, new and uh, vehicles and vessels. So if they are having that equivalent or superior what quality strength fire resistance effectiveness durability and safety so if uh, if your design has that okay again quality strength fire resistance okay? effectiveness durability and safety if your design has those 
and you can do the analysis and point out that this result, this will this would result in similar or equivalent or even superior quality. Strength, fire resistance, effectiveness, durability, and safety of what is required by the code, and therefore your uh, design could be accepted because of the concept of equivalency. Okay. So we have an equivalent instead. Okay. This uh, this uh, concept makes sense because uh, in engineering, in practical uh, application, uh, there are no two engineers that would design <laughs> the same problem with the same solution. If there are 10 engineers, there are 10 different solutions for a single problem. Okay, so that, uh, that is uh, to say that we can satisfy the same problem, the same requirement with different use of combination of what? System, methods, or devices, or equipment for that matter. Still, uh, that is the commonality unifying, unifying factor in our design because that is the target goal. However, the details are maybe totally different from one another. Okay? And uh, that is uh, because we are dealing with what actual creation. This is not mathematics. Okay? or in a single problem could only have single solution, okay? So we can have several ways how to do it, how to do things, okay? For example, we have reference NFP 13 here, standard for installation of sprinkler system. NFP 72, national fire alarm and signaling code, okay? Sprinkler, and they are usually what used together in a system applied to extent called for in the code. Okay, application to existing building is limited. Okay, documents referenced in this chapter are applied to the extent called for within other chapters of this code. Okay. Where requirements of a referenced code or a standard differ from this code, the requirements of this NFPA 101 govern. Okay. So there is what? Mm. Reference code and the major code. So there, this is a major code. Okay. Okay. Unlike the uh, core chapters and the application chapter, the application chapter governs if there are uh, what? Contradicting or uh, different requirements. Okay? In this case, uh, even though this is a, the um, most foundation type of code, okay? and we have what? Specialty code like NAP 13 and 72. If there are requirements of the this reference code or standards which differ, which are different from uh, NFA 101, this code NFA 101 will govern, have to be used. Okay, this is the myth and meaning of this. Uh, uh, principle. Okay, so because uh, you are what you are uh, looking for equivalency requirement, and you may be looking for other equipments. For example, sprinkler are looking for 
other uh, devices, for example, fire alarm devices. Okay. So since uh, you have the motivation to look for equivalent systems, you may encounter different code requirements for a for the same situation. Okay, and uh, again, in this case, uh, we have to apply the life safety code. It is NFA 101. So applied to extent called for in the code. Application to existing building is limited. Okay. You know that because those uh, existing building already satisfy the older code. Okay. So if the owners, the, uh, the uh, authorities of the building receive the officer for example of the building uh, decides to go with it and do not modify it yet. Okay? So it will go on, the building will go on. Okay? However, again, for the last time, if there are different restrictions from different standards with the same in a PA organization. So we have to use NPA 101 for that matter. Okay. And uh, that is uh, our last slide. Thank you for listening. Like, share, and subscribe our uh, channel. Post an ad for minimum sponsorship fee on uh, any of our videos. Piso piso on our uh, operation. Okay, so this is Dr. Epi, pitching engineering for nation building.